What's up everyone? I'm here in Chelsea, Massachusetts, and I'm going to be taking public transportation to downtown Boston. I recorded this video on Tuesday, April 4th, 2023. It's 11 o'clock a.m. and it's 56 Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius. I'll be taking an underground bus known as the Silver Line run by the MBTA. That's the transit agency of the Massachusetts Bay Area. Here's the railroad tracks for the commuter rail station. Chelsea station right here. And here's the bus station, Chelsea bus station to South Station, which is the main uh, transit hub of Boston. The next one's coming in four minutes. It's nice that they have these neighborhood maps. Here's the local transit map for the Massachusetts Bay Area. We're right here, Chelsea, and I'll be taking the bus SL3 all the way here, South Station. This uh, transit agency is kind of unique in that it operates multiple methods of transportation. It has heavy rail subways on the red line, orange line, and blue lines. The green line is a light rail. The silver line is a bus. They wanted to make it into a light rail, but they ran out of money when they did the big dig. So as a result, there's tunnels with buses running through them. And there's also ferries here and the commuter rail, as we just saw. This one's the Chelsea commuter rail station. It'll uh, eventually branch off into the Newburyport and Rockport uh, terminals. The main method of payment here for this transit system is the Charlie card. They don't accept the Charlie card on the commuter rail though. And uh, I don't think they accept it on the ferries either. What makes this a little bit more confusing is that usually Google Maps, they show subway station stops, but since the Silver Line technically isn't a subway, it's not displayed on the public transportation map. It's coming now, Silver Line bus. There used to be a overhead catenary in the tunnels, but I think the transit agency is transforming more of them into battery operated, so they don't need that anymore. So here's the payment. I think we can go here, there's a little bit more room, and we got a window to look out of. Actually looks like a brand new bus. I think these are uh, these Silver Line buses are mostly battery operated now. So they don't even need an overhead electric wire. I actually had a video that was quite popular that said a uh, weird underground bus that's not a subway that got hundreds of thousands of views. And it featured the Silver Line bus.
this area, Chelsea, is actually a pretty small city in the Massachusetts Bay Area. It's directly across the water from downtown Boston, but it's a little bit difficult to get to downtown Boston. There's no like direct bridge that connects it. There is the US-1 Tobin Bridge, but you kind of have to snake around the downtown Boston going that way. Oh, I think uh, I didn't mention the fare. The fare is $2.40 to ride the public transit. I think local buses is $1.70, but the Silver Line is $2.40. Same goes for the subways, 240. But I have a seven day uh, link pass, they call it. It's 2250, unlimited rides. It's actually a dedicated busway. It's kind of neat to see how they do their public transit. Station, Bellingham Square. I think I'm gonna switch mounts here. This tripod is giving me um gimbal's giving me stability issues. better. Despite this not being a rail line, it actually moves pretty quickly because it has dedicated right of ways. I believe this is a uh, bike greenway. It's nice that they have that right next to the busway. Yeah, they call this the Chelsea Greenway. I just saw it. Eastern Avenue Station, last stop in Chelsea. After this, we'll be entering East Boston. East Boston, as you might have figured out, is part of Boston proper.
This is a direct uh, bus to the airport, the airport shuttle bus. Now we're not on a dedicated right of way anymore. Crossing over the bridge, mixed with other traffic. This bus is so bumpy. Eventually, if they ever do convert this into a rail line, I hope the ride is a lot more smooth. Going through some tunnels now. So this is East Boston. We're headed to the next station, which is called Airport. And the name is kind of misleading because you're not actually at the airport yet. You still have to take another bus to get to the airport itself. Also the uh, subway tracks with the blue line. It's actually quicker for transfers to get to, uh, for people going to downtown Boston to take that blue line directly there than staying on this bus the whole way. Most of the time anyway. This is the airport station. You need to get one of those blue buses that we saw earlier to get to the actual airport or the uh, Silver Line route number one. Now we're going through this complex roadway leading out of the airport. And very bumpy too, if I may add.
these uh, silver line buses, they used to switch over to the overhead catenary lines at the next stop, which is Silver Line Way, because they go underground and they have the cables running overhead. But that took time because they switched from, uh, from battery or gas to electric. And that required the operator to go outside of the bus to switch it manually. So doing it this way is a lot smarter. It's actually the interstate highway now. Boston now known as Seaport District. Seaport District used to be a lot of like warehousing and shipments going through here, but it's become a very exclusive neighborhood. Lots of high rise buildings now. And uh, things to do, hotels. They also call this area South Boston. stop is called the World Trade Center. You see all these high rises.
uh, the overhead catenary lines and silver line weight. But since this bus is battery powered, we're not going to have to switch over to the electric overhead lines. He just opens the doors, closes them, and we just drive right through the tunnel. Saves a lot of time that way, not having to do that extra step. And this is where the bus gets kind of interesting because uh, it acts like a subway even though it's a bus because we're going to go through some underground tunnels as a bus. World Trade Center Station, the subterranean one. is known as Courthouse. And the next station is South Station in downtown Boston.
here we are. South Station. And the last stop on this bus. Well, that was an experience. SL3 bus. Now we got to go to the street. Yes. Hi. How you doing? Good and good, man. Good. Nice to meet you. Well, that was my first time recognizing uh, the Boston area on this trip. street level. Actually, I'd rather take this exit because escalator is here. everyone we are here in downtown Boston if you like that ride on the Silver Line 3 bus from Chelsea then hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye bye everyone take care